Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark's Farms. Don't forget to like and subscribe, um, it all helps the channel. This week we have the dreaded TB test. Um, ah, good luck, to be fair, we don't mind having the TB test. It's just, if you don't, if it doesn't be all clear, it's an absolute nightmare. But yeah, um, that's where we're at this week, and then hopefully all be well if all passes we get cattle to the mart yeah so let's get at it so today we have a bit of an earlier start um we have a tb test today so we we'll bring all the cattle in and the vet's going to come and test them then i come back in another two or three days to check the results um the results they just had to check to see if there's a lump on their neck where they inject them but hopefully be no lumps. Um, to be honest, we're depending a lot on this TB test. It's gonna, it's gonna come back clear because on this Wednesday, on Monday, um, is the weaning seal. It's a big seal. It's the Charlie weaning seal. So it's a big seal. It happens every year that you sell your weanings off. That's for any man who doesn't know what Wayland's is, or any woman doesn't know what Wayland's is. It's the calves that we had this year that you wean off the cows. We're going to wean them off today and get them ready for selling on Monday. Hopefully, please God, we get it all clear. Because you have to have all clear TB test to be able to sell. So, um, yeah, we have quite a lot riding on this. Um, so hopefully we'll get the all clear. So <clears throat> we'll go now and take in all the cows and calves and the halfers and bullocks. Get them into the shed, ready for the vet. The vet's coming at half ten, so we'll uh, get started. So this is just the last batch of cows we're getting in it here now. But Jesse's up the road. No need to. I know, but guys up there, we're like, sure, you should get a class of bases, you know. Who's in the bar, Craig? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Just here chasing these cows, and you want to see what this raw hallion is doing his own Jeep sitting ram the back of what the quality is. That is a rash, rash man. 
should have been behind the wheel of Alan. That's them all in now, everything in. Bed's here now, just gonna run through the test and we'll see how we get on. So, that's the first half of the TV test completed. Um, we're just gonna take the halves and bullocks in now and weigh them, and then we'll maybe weigh some of these calves as well, see how they're doing. Yeah, we get these halves in now and weigh them. Have some water. So that's all the uh, Havers and Bullocks weighed. Um, averaging out roughly between 350 to 400 kilos each. Um, roughly around a kilo a day, daily weight gain. Some of them more, some of them two kilos a day, but average out roughly about one or 1.2 kilos a day. So happy with that, especially when they're just on grass, no meal at all. Um, so we'll start to. Uh, how we start to feed meal to them now, start pushing them on a bit. Yeah, like this. Real happy with that. Just put them in the hard watch then. It's all saved there, so it's easy to keep track of the stuff. Um if we're now batch is sort of bigger calves out here. Um 
that was in with the smaller batch of calves, so we might move them across and put them in the bigger batch. But we're going to weigh them down here. So that's all the cows and calves, all, 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 all the cows back out. Uh, they get them all back in Saturday now again for the for the reaping the test. Put them out in this back field here. It's a field that we cut down the other day. Um, why didn't cut it? We don't. I made a mess trying to be able to get all of them all. So I had to let them graze it. So, the vet is just away and we are all clear, good to go. We will be selling our whaling calves on Monday. Um, yeah, so I think we have about, uh, about 10 calves ready to go. So, Happy days, that's a big relief. So, it's Monday, and we have a batch of the bigger calves, cows here, taking them in for the mart. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wean these, these calves off now. We have Sean McGuinness coming to collect them now at 2 o'clock, he's going to take them to the mart first, and hopefully. They'll do well. So it's the morning after the night before um, and to summarise on the sale I have to say we are really happy with how it went. Uh, what do you feel? Oh no, very very happy. Couldn't, couldn't be happier with that. Um, yeah, great prices for all the animals. Definitely was happy with them. Um, was yeah, really shocked, price. really shocked to hear that the half was the it was the the biggest price the whole lot. Usually it would be the bullocks would would, would push out more, but the half done exceptionally well. Um, but yeah, it was a good sale. Less animals than it was last year, like what. It was definitely a good sale and I'm happy with it. No, definitely. It was, a good, it was a good turnout. The, the animals there was good, like, a good, a good quality. Like. Yeah, well, it was, yeah, I suppose. Um, but uh, most of the prices were expected, I think. It was a good price, but you needed it all. Yeah. And we like just had it. another ten like it, and it would be alright. Yeah, if, it, if we had another ten there, like, oh, it would be doing alright, like, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, just down here filling the creep feeder again anyway for push on a few more, you know. Um, but yeah, no, definitely happy anyway. Thank you for playing. Right guys, unfortunately that's all we have time for this week. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it all helps. Um, we have new videos out every Sunday. 
and um, there's plenty of videos out there if you want to watch back in them and also check out the website for the merch um, more stuff put on it this week there again um, yeah so all the best now good luck